Hey team, another workout for today that you can do from the comfort of your own homes. You're going to get a nice upper body pump with this. All you need is a couch or a bench or a box, anything you can put your body weight on. We're gonna start with a five minute AMRAP of three movements. This will be for quality. So I don't want you to move as fast as you can. I want you to move as well as you can. You start with 10 bottom hops. High plank. Squeeze everything together and jump your feet next to your hands and back. Do that for 10 reps. Then turn around. We're gonna go for 10 hollow rocks. Either get the chest up as high as you can. Knees in a 90 degree angle, hands above the head. Rock back and forth. That feels easy. You can straighten out one or two legs. Collect 10. Then, after that, what we're gonna do is called a wall slide. I need you to find an empty space on a wall Stand up against it, and what you want to do is press your lower back and upper back against the wall. Then you're going to bring your hands to a 90 degree angle, and you're going to make sure your elbow and your wrists are in contact with the wall. From there, you're going to straighten out your arms up as high as you can, while you keep contact with the wall with your full back, your elbow, and your wrists. Wherever you can't uh, keep that anymore, you stop, go back down, come back up, and you collect 10 reps. Just keep rotating these three movements for five minutes, and then we're gonna get straight into the workout. Workout for today will be 10 into eight, into six, four, and two reps of either couch push-ups, regular push-ups, or strict handstand push-ups if you're going for experience. In between every round, you're going to do a variant of jump rope jumps. If you go for a beginner version, you're gonna do couch push-ups. So you get a couch or a chair, hands at shoulder width, nice and straight plank and bring your chest down to the edge. Collect your 10 reps and then in between rounds, you're going for 60 single unders. So get yourself a jump rope, let it pass under you once every jump. If you go for intermediate, you're going to go for regular push-ups, so high plank, hands under the shoulders, and make sure your chest touches the floor every rep. For you guys, we're going for 15 double unders in between every round, so make sure the rope passes under you twice, collect 15 reps. If you don't have a jump rope, go for 15 penguin jumps. That means you jump up high and tap your thighs twice every jump. It'll look like this. Etc. For experience today, strict hands and push-ups. If you're gonna do this version, you know the drill. Kick up against the wall, no kipping, no use of the legs, just a strict push-up, tapping the floor with your head every rep, and 30 double unders in between rounds. Do this as fast as you can, and then, as always, we wouldn't be fussed without it. Without it, we have a finisher. It's gonna be a tabata, so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, of couch dips. So you get back up against the couch, hands are right next to the hips, straighten out your legs if you can, keep the back close to the edge, point your elbows back and push yourself up. The closer you bring your feet to the bench, the lighter it gets, further away will make it harder. To finish off, we start off with a door post stretch. That means you get your arm in a 90 degree angle, Place your hand against the door post, and then lean forward with the rest of your body. Hold this for a minute on each side, and finish off with a straddle stretch. So you're just gonna stand, grab your elbows, and roll down as far as you can. Hold that for two minutes to finish off the day, and then you are done. Good job, see you next time.